Destiny is all. What are you doing about your purpose and your calling today? Are you moving forward? Or have you turned to look back? This message today is entitled, Don't Look Back. And I'm going to give you some, some scriptures that will help you not look back, but look forward to your future and the plan of God that he has for you. Well, let's pray together uh, this morning. Thank you for uh, viewing and tuning in this morning. I know that the Lord is going to speak to all of us, uh, to our spirits and to our hearts today uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we commit this time to you. This is your time, Holy Spirit. And I thank you for speaking to the people today, speaking to me today, and we give you liberty to come in, into our ears and into our heart, into our minds, and let us begin to hear what the Spirit would say unto us today. And Lord, right now, I come against any hindrances, any uh, um, electronic hindrances, any hindrances, uh, with distractions, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, those things I bind in Jesus' name. And I loose uh, the freedom of the Holy Spirit uh, to minister to all of us this day in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, I said destiny is all. And that is, that is so true because the Lord wants us to fulfill our destiny. From the foundations of the world, he knew who, who he wanted you to be. And we were all predestined to come into the image or be formed into the image of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But each one of us, there is a particular uh, assignment, purpose, uh, calling uh, that he has for each one of us. And he wants us to fulfill that. You know, and there were some people in the Bible, hallelujah, uh, that um, that had some issues with that. Let's go to Genesis chapter 13. We see uh, that um, Abraham and Lot were traveling together with their families, with their cattle, with their herdsmen, and they were, they were all traveling together. But the herdsmen of Abraham and the herdsmen of Lot began to argue and have strife among them. And so Abraham felt like it was, it was the time to, to separate. And so he gave Lot the first choice. And we know that in, in chapter 13, Lot chose Sodom and Gomorrah because it was, it was to the eye, it was beautiful. Uh, and it was uh, a land of abundance. And at least that's what he thought. And, and so that's what he chose. And in verse, uh, in chapter 13, verse 13, But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And, Abraham, and the Lord took Abraham and he said, You know, do you see uh, all of this land? Uh, and for all the land which you can see, to you will I give it, and to your seed forever. You know, in, in spiritual terms, whatever we see, the Lord will give it to us. Hallelujah. Do you see your healing? Do you see your calling? Do you see you going into the nations? Do you see your, yourself uh, the way God sees you? You can have that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what he told Abraham. And as we move uh, along here, we see that in, in Genesis 18, uh, that Sodom and Gomorrah were, were two cities. Sodom means burnt, and Gomorrah means ruin heap. And, and they were, there were wicked people in those cities uh, doing all kinds of evil. And, and so the Lord makes a decision to, to rain down fire upon those two cities. You know, I think about the fire of the Holy Spirit. 
and, and that fire is still there. God is a God of, uh, he is a consuming fire. And that's what it says in Hebrews. And, and, and so he's raining down his fire through the Holy Spirit upon the evil uh, that is in the world. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And so in, in 18, um, it, we find Abraham pleading um, um, for Sodom and Gomorrah because his, his nephew Lot and his family were in that city. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, and so we see that, that the fire still came. And we see that uh, Lot uh, has been rescued out of, of, of that place. And it says in uh, chapter 19, uh, verse 24, Then God rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from, from out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities that which grew upon the ground. But he, oh, hallelujah. And Lot came out of there. You know, he rescued Lot and, and his family um, and his wife in particular. And it says here in verse 26, but his wife looked back. What happens if you look back? You lose your future if you keep looking back. And I'm going to give you some, some scriptures and some, some uh, steps in order to keep looking forward. Uh, there's been some ministries uh, that have been laying dormant uh, because you keep looking backwards. You keep looking at the way things were, uh, the way you used to do things. But, you know, it's, we're in a new season now, and, and God's people need to move forward. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt, unprofitable. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and in verse 28, and, he, and, and Abraham looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward the land of the plain, and behold, the smoke of the, of the country went up, as a smoke of a furnace. There was nothing left there for him. There's nothing left uh, for you in your past. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, in 2 Peter uh, chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, it says that Lot was vexed. His soul, his emotions, his attitude, his will, it was, they were all messed up while he was there in Sodom and Gomorrah because of the filthy conversation and the filthy communication, of, and the wickedness of the people. He was oppressed. Oh, oh my goodness, hallelujah. He was, he was harassed. Uh, right now, in the name of Jesus, I come against any harassment uh, that you've been under, uh, uh, any abuse uh, that you've had to go through, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for whatsoever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever is in heaven, that's what we can bind. Hallelujah. There's no abuse in heaven. There's no harassment in heaven. There's no fear in heaven. There's no sickness in heaven. And those are the things that we can bind here on this earth. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, now, let's get to the steps uh, that you can take to keep looking forward. And to fulfill destiny and your purpose. Hallelujah. And number one is found in uh, Philippians 3, verse 13. And let's go there. Let's put our eyes on, on that scripture. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing today. Well, thank you, Lord, that you're opening up ears today. In Jesus' name, there's a, uh, there's a right ear uh, that's being literally uh, physically opened up in the name of Jesus. You have not been able to hear plainly out of that right ear and the Lord is opening up that ear right now in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm in Philippians chapter 3 verse 13 and it says brethren I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before me. Hallelujah. 
God has something before you out there. Something that you may not have walked in. Hallelujah. Places that you have not gone. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I see people uh, packing their suitcases. And you say, well, how can we travel at this time? Uh, the Lord has a way. Hallelujah. He has a way uh, to send you and to, to bring you forth uh, to, to the places that he wants you to go. Forgetting those things which are behind. That's number one. Number two, it's in Hebrews 12. Let's go on over to Hebrews 12. He says, looking unto Jesus, Hebrews 12, verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. So we're to keep looking at Jesus. Keep looking at this word. Keep studying the word. In Joshua uh, 1 8, it says, Meditate on the word. Think on the word. Let it be in your in your mind and, and even if you're uh, doing your chores or you're at work or uh, you're, you're doing what you need to be doing that day, your activities, uh, just think on Jesus. Think on Jesus and he will keep you looking forward so that you do not look behind at any mistakes or failures because those things are burned up just like Sodom and Gomorrah. There's only smoke where those places were in the name of Jesus go forward take the steps to go forward you know and in Romans 4 21 this is number 3 and that is to be fully persuaded that God is able to keep that which you've committed unto him have you committed your life unto him have you committed your ministry unto him have you committed, uh, committed your, your family and, and your body and your mind and, your, and all that you have? Have you uh, surrendered all of that to the Lord? Hallelujah. You know, in Luke 9, 62, it says if we, if we put our hand to the plow and we look back, then we're not going to be fit uh, for the kingdom of God. God only has a future for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that was number three, be fully persuaded, just like Abraham was fully persuaded. Even though he was 100 and, and, and Sarah was 90, uh, God says, I'm going to give you a son, and you're going to be the father, hallelujah, uh, of many nations. And, and this is something that in the natural realm could not happen. Uh, there are things that God is working on for you that you don't see. Hallelujah, because they're in the supernatural realm. But God says, I will do it. If you will only believe, I will do it. Hallelujah. Number four, let's go to Psalms um, 37 and uh, verse four. It says here, we're to desire the things of the Lord. It says in, uh, in verse four, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. And verse 5, commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So, hallelujah. Desire the Lord with all your heart. Desire his word. Desire to do uh, his will. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, that word delight there means soft and pliable. Hallelujah. Is your heart soft and pliable? Uh, when, the, when the Lord says, uh, do this, do you do it quickly? Hallelujah. Uh, are you like Martha? And Martha argued with the Lord uh, when he told her to remove the stone. But praise God, if we're soft and pliable and, and we, we hear what God is telling us to do and we're quick. To do it, hallelujah. Soft and pliable. Number five, 
We're to separate ourselves from the unclean thing. This is in 2 Corinthians 6, 17. We're to separate ourselves. What happened with, with Lot? God separated him out. Hallelujah. He brought him and his family out of Sodom and Gomorrah, out of the, out of the, the corruption and the evil uh, that was in, in the world. And see, that's what God has done for us. By his spirit, we've been separated out. It says here in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. He has separated us out from the world. We're, we're separate. We're, we're not of the world. Hallelujah. We're of the kingdom of God. And, and in, in that kingdom, uh, we find our purpose. And in that kingdom, uh, we find our calling. And in that kingdom, we fulfill our destiny. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Number six, these are steps that you can take uh, to keep looking forward so that you do not look back. Hallelujah. And that is to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues as much as you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jude, verses 20 and 21, it says, Build yourself up on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And that's your prayer language. That's not English. That's not Spanish. That's not Chinese. That, that or Japanese or any other language. Uh, that is your prayer language. Praying in the Spirit is going to keep you built up. It's going to keep you moving forward. Hallelujah. And you know that very next verse in Jude, it says, Keep yourself in the love of God. The love walk. Oh, well, that's a whole other message. But God is love. We want to move in God. We want to move in Him. And He's the one that performs uh, His Word, hallelujah, in us. He's the one that makes the Word in us. Get up! Rise up! He's the one that resurrects uh, the power in us. He's the one that reconciles us to himself. Can you say amen? And the last step is to to be with other believers. Talk with other believers. Gather with other believers. You know, I know right now we're in a, in a stage and a season where we can't have large groups, but let me tell you something. That doesn't stop people. That doesn't stop you from telephoning someone or, or being on a Zoom meeting are being uh, just in in your in the very presence of Almighty God uh, with a with another believer praying Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Let's just just quickly uh, go over those those seven steps. Number one is to forget those things which are behind and move forward. Number two is to look unto Jesus, study His Word. Hallelujah. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Uh, number three is to be fully persuaded that God is able uh, to keep everything that you've committed unto him, everything that you've surrendered unto him. Some of you need to surrender your mind right now in the name of Jesus. You've had thoughts. You've had thoughts of worry. You've had thoughts of fear. Uh, you've been concerned about uh, many things. Uh, but the Lord says he speaks peace to your mind right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're to, be, we're to desire him and delight in him. And we're to separate ourselves from the evil of this world. Praise the name of Jesus. We're to pray in tongues. We're to pray in the spirit. 
And right now, if you do not have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I speak to the Holy Ghost to come where you are and baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire in the name of Jesus and that you will speak in tongues even now in Jesus' name. Receive it. You receive it like you receive salvation by faith. Hallelujah. Receive. Receive right now in Jesus' name. And then you, you meet with other believers. You join with other believers. You talk about the word. You pray together. Hallelujah. And this will keep you going forward and not looking back. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. There's a person being healed right now of a, of a, a, a lump in your breast. That lump is dissolving right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You just got the report just a few days ago. But the Lord says he's dissolving that lump in Jesus' name. Praise the name of Jesus. I see eyes being healed. I see eyes being healed. Cataracts coming off of the eyes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I see the, the back of the eye being healed, the nerves in the back of the eye being touched by the hand of God right now, bringing you perfect sight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord forever. I see fingers being healed, fingers that have been uh, crippled uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, and you haven't been able to, to pick up a glass or, or pick up your Bible. Uh, you've not been able to pick up a fork. Uh, but the Lord says, I'm healing those fingers right now in Jesus' name. Receive from the Lord today. Don't look back. But fulfill your destiny. Thank you for viewing.